Matt Rule is finalizing the Husker staff going into 2024, but there's still one move that is yet to be made. Dana Holgerson, a lot of rumors around him. Will he end up joining the staff? So in this video, I'm going to break down whether or not he will actually be a part of the Nebraska Cornhuskers in 2024, what's going on with that situation, and everything else in between. So real quick, if you like the content, please hit the like button on this video. It really helps me out. Along with subscribing to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any more Nebraska football content this offseason. We're only getting started. We're posting almost every day. So let's start to talk about Dana Holgerson and what's going on with that situation. So as we know, a couple weeks ago news broke that the Huskers were targeting him to potentially add to this staff and right off the gates a lot of people thought that he was going to be probably our offensive coordinator or even our quarterbacks coach and I made a video and I said hey guys he will not be either of those we know he just got fired from Houston we know what his payout structure is he does not want to jump right back into coaching and we're already looking at a guy by the name of Glenn Thomas a lot of people said, no, Wilson, you're wrong. He's going to be a quarterback's coach. Of course, we saw as time progressed that I was right. Glenn Thomas was hired to be Nebraska's next quarterback's coach and co-offensive coordinator. And I left the question in the air. Will Dana Holgerson be an analyst or not? We saw after he visited Nebraska, he went to the Nebraska wrestling meet with some of our staff, staff members. He had some meetings with other college football programs. LSU was going after him hard. Texas A&M had an offer on the table. So for a while, it didn't really look like Nebraska was going to end up landing him. But now it looks like all signs point to Matt Rule adding to adding him to this staff. Uh, looking at a credible source saying that Dana Holgerson is expected to join this staff in the next month or so. And it's expected that his son, Logan, uh, will also be coming to Nebraska, a guy who has been around college football as well in NIL deals and recruiting deals. So that's something that his son will help with. Um, but Dana Holgerson, he's expected to be an offensive analyst, which is something that I told you guys uh, to foresee, right? Again, a lot of these coaches who get fired do not want to jump back into coaching because they have a buyout. They have $5 million, $10 million, $15 million that they are owed by the university. If you jump right back into coaching and get another head coaching gig or you get an offensive coordinator gig, you forfeit a lot of that money. And I told you at the time, I said, Dana Holgerson wants that money just like any other coach. A lot of times they go and they be an analyst for a year because they want to collect all their buyout money and then they'll jump back into coaching into a higher position. So that's what Dana Holgerson is expected to be, an offensive analyst. Again, we'll see when this drops. I expect something within the next couple of weeks. Um, but let's talk about this move in general for Matt Rule. Why he hired Dana Holgerson, why this is a good move for the Huskers. Again, you're just adding experience. We're talking about a guy who was at West Virginia as a head coach, at Houston for a head coach. He's been around the ringer. He's coached quarterbacks. He's coached offense. We know this offense needs some work. You just got to add more experience, man. Add guys who've been around the ringer a couple bit, right? A guy who has been in the Big 12, a guy who has been uh, in AAC football, a guy who really turned Houston to be one of the better programs in all of Texas, to have him on this staff, especially basically looking over Dylan Ryle, looking over Daniel Kalins, the de their development in an analyst role, that will only mean good things for this program. Again, I, I talked about it when we were discussing Glenn Thomas. The reason why I love the Glenn Thomas role, it's not because he's been wildly successful throughout his career. It's because he had a lot of experience. And he's been developing quarterbacks not only in the Big Ten, not only in the Big 12, but in the NFL as well. Glenn Thomas was with, was with Matt Ryan. We can look at Dana Holgerson and say the exact same thing. He has so much college football experience. You know, we're talking about a guy who's getting up there in age that's what I want from an analyst. I don't want these young 30-year-old, 4-year-old analysts who really bring nothing to the table or else just trying to make it in college football. What I want from that position is kind of like a veteran coach who can provide true analysts, right, and give us um, something that we can teach to our young guys, teach to our coaches even. So that's what you get with Dana Holgerson on this staff. I think this is a spectacular move. I'm pumped about this. Um would I would have rather had him at quarterback coach? I don't think so. I think Glenn Thomas was a fine hire. Again, he's familiar with Matt Rule. It's not really a big deal there, but expect Dana Holgerson to be announced within the next couple weeks. I thought I'd come on here and address that real quick and why that's a good move and will it happen. I expect it to happen. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. Let me know if you're pumped about this hire with Dana Holgerson. Again, I expect something within the next month, um, but I'm pumped about this and I hope you are too. But as always, folks, go Big Red, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.